Hello everybody and welcome. Today we are going to be taking a look at Titan Shift in Modern. Uh, it is May of 2019 uh, and the Mythic Championships recently finished. We've had the London Mulligan Rule. We're back now to the old Mulligan Rule of Vancouver or whatever it is. Um, and this was the deck I think that went top 8 in the, uh, in the Mythic Championship. Um, <clears throat> really keen to give this a spin. Uh, I'm not normally a green player. Uh, or a ramping kind of player, but uh, really eager to give this one a go. Um, I hate playing against Tron, and I just love the uh, Acid Mosses here. Just, you know, a couple of test games I've played with this already where Tron has just crumpled like paper underneath uh, underneath the, this ramp, followed, uh, you know, obviously up by Primeval and or Scapeshift for the win. Um, <clears throat> so those of you who are already familiar with the build, you know, you could skip ahead a little bit, but just a, a quick recap of what's going on here. We've got 27 lands in the main, um, and then a whole pile of ramp cards. That's cards like Far Seek, search our library for a mountain, put it into play tapped. Same thing with Secure Tribe Elder, does the exact same job, except um, also provides a 1-1 one -one body that can jump for a turn and or even attack for a couple of turns. And uh, maybe talk about that a little bit later. There's there's a subtlety at play with this deck where you're kind of incentivized to try to get the guy to 18, uh, and so beats from Secure Tribe Elder can be relevant for that. Um, this is in the wrong place. This is our this is the main thing we want to be doing on turn one. It's suspending uh, search for tomorrow. Plan B is to play a relic and hope that it has some meaning, or at worst, it'll uh, cycle for itself. Um, <clears throat> we have three lightning bolts to just do general stuff, um, cope with what our opponent's doing, as well as provide a little bit of reach. We can obviously um, put them to 17 before we scape shift. Um, scape shift itself, for those of you not familiar, is um, kind of the, 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 the chief gimmick of the deck is that we build up to seven lands, cast scape shift. Its combo is old as time itself, and there's probably other videos out there that you can check out just um, you know, tutorial on what, what's going on here. But we bring seven lands into play, one of which is Valak at the Molten Pinnacle, and then six mountains. And as you can see, almost all of our non-fetches are mountains uh, and deal 18 damage all in one go. That's uh, the scape shift combo. Once you've got seven lands and scape shift, basically win the game. Um, the key innovation, I think, in this deck uh, that the fellow played at the uh, championship is Acid Moss, which goes and fetches a forest card, which includes Stomping Ground and or Cinderglade out of our deck while destroying uh, the opponent's land. Uh, fantastic against Tron and actually has quite a lot of applications elsewhere as well. Um, Chandra has some weird things. I'm still learning the ropes with how she bolts into the deck, but the trick is... The long story on this is that you're supposed to, the short story even, is that you're supposed to use her plus one ability to add mana um, quite liberally um, if you have an opportunity to. Now the key card here, of course, is Primeval Titan. Um, we have six copies of him in the deck. Uh, Summoner's Pack just allows us to go and get one. We have to pay a tax the following turn. Um, and what he does, of course, is when it comes into play, brings two lands into play. They can be mountains to um, bolt our opponent or targets if we have Valakut out. It can also go and fetch the Valakuts if we haven't gotten that far yet in the game. Once you play one of these, it's pretty hard to lose unless your opponent's already about to burn you out or about to kill you. Engineered Explosives is sort of a general answer-all sort of card. Um, I've actually been boarding it out quite a lot uh, in my test games, so we'll see how that goes. Um, in the sideboard, I've tweaked things a little bit compared to the uh, compared to the internet version or the, the version that was played at, uh, at the championship. Um, I've really found Primal Command to just be a fantastic catch-all card to bring in because it answers so many different things. You know, gaining seven life can be massively relevant against really aggressive or burn decks. Um, uh, you can destroy a land, obviously, with the second ability. Um, shuffling away their graveyard can be massive in modern, as we all know. And then, of course, its last ability is also really relevant. Uh, it's, it's effectively a seventh copy of uh, Primeval Titan. Um, I'm not sure where the thrum is necessary, but I don't. I fe it fe we feel vulnerable against counter spells, against Remand and Cryptic Command. Um, my only testing against that. Um, it's actually been quite successful. You can cast Scapeshift, he counters it, and you shrug and just, you know, try Primeval Titan the turn after. If that doesn't work, try Summoner's Pact for Primeval. You know, if eventually he needs an answer to every single thing you're doing because everything you're doing ends the game, wins you the game. So we'll see uh, as to how 
attractive he is. Mm-hmm. Obviously, very unattractive. But um, to bring in ha- how attractive the proposition is to bring him in. Um, Balor's been fantastic mm-hmm. in everything. Uh, he almost always mm-hmm. comes in against creatures, mm-hmm. certainly against Burn uh, and Agro. Uh, I'll just separate things out here a little bit so I can see what's going on. We got some counter. Uh, artifact counters here, um, three main deck. That's also an enchantment answer. Ancient Grudge, obviously awesome. Shatterstorm, very, very important against uh, your sort of prison chalice sort of decks. <clears throat> uh, Dampening Sphere for mainly Storm. Um, there are a lot of other decks that don't like it, like uh, Thing in the Ice as well. Uh, against Tron, you probably do bring it in, but you know, you've know you got to get rid of relics and stuff, so you, you're looking for other things to bring in. But again, our, our matchup against Tron is so, so good uh, from the main deck anyway. <coughs> um, answering creatures, we have a Flame Slash. You could argue for a fourth Lightning Bolt, but Flame Slash does hit Thing in the Ice. Um, one extra Relic for Dredge and any of that other. Uh, wickedness, Anger of the Gods as humans, Merfolk, Spirits and that type of thing. Mm-hmm. Tireless is a really good catch-all as well. Alternative win condition if you suspect a uh, ley line of sanctity and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Playing one of these guys on turn three um, if you've already searched uh, or if you've already far-seeked means that you can play him on turn three and then play a land and immediately get the clue. Um, and so ha- I haven't played much with him out of the board yet, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, so that's the deck. Uh we will jump into some matches and see how it goes. Uh, depending on how much fun I'm having, I'll continue to play and uh, do a few do a few of these games, do a few of these matches. We'll see what happens along the way. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Um, as always, please do uh, leave comments. Um, if you like what you see, hit the like button. If you don't like what you see, you can hit the dislike button, I suppose. Um, but uh, I'll leave it up to yourselves. Um, I would love it if you would subscribe. Uh, that would give me a little bit more encouragement to continue doing these. It's been a while since I've done any magic stuff uh, on YouTube. Um, anyway, that's it. Um, so, without further ado, let's get started. And we are ready to begin. We won the dice roll, which is really good. Straight off the bat, no lands. 27 land deck, everybody. 27 land deck. Just saying. Take it on the chin. Keep this one. Um, I think we keep this Arid Mesa. Yeah, keep that. Um, now, a rule of thumb, hypothesis I'm working to, is that maybe you guys can confirm this. I could, what I could have done here is played the basic forest and avoid taking the two damage, right? But what you're supposed to do is play a mountain because there is a chance that the game goes long to the point where you just naturally get to seven lands and you care about hitting mountains for Valakut triggers. And if this is the mirror match, that's a great, great start, isn't it? It's not. Okay. Temple Gardens. It might be humans. Okay, so what can we do here? Next turn we have Acid Moss, we have Chandra next turn. Uh, I could play Engineered for either two or one. That might be the best thing to do here, if we strongly suspect humans, which I I really, really do. Um, So I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to Explosives for two, and then Acid Moss uh, the turn after. Um... I'm going to be a little bit conservative here and go for a basic mountain. My life total is uh, something that I'm eager to protect. Okay. So I always find with humans, usually with Noble Hierarch or anyone playing Noble Hierarch, you're tempted to kill the Hierarch. But because humans has so many fast ways to bring out... <laughs> okay. Yeah. Normally, humans have so many fast to, bre- to dump its hand onto the table that killing the hierarch isn't really worth it. You're better off saving your removal for uh, a nasty human like a um, you know mantis rider or what have you. <clears throat> so, search comes off suspend. It's got to be a basic. Uh, so we go another mountain, saving up the mountains here. 
Okay, so we've got two choices. We can either Acid Moss or Chandra. Now, if we Chandra, that's really interesting. Chandra is interesting. Now, having said that, that's got to be it's got to be Acid Moss. He's missed. He's missed playing anything unless he's flashing in a spirit. Uh, but if he's flashing in a spirit, I don't really want to leave Chandra up for that. So let's go ahead and Acid Moss. Spell Queller. I can feel it. Oh, it is. Spirits. Well, Chandra will kill that if it resolves, if she resolves. But we'll have to wait and see now whether, whether we have game here. Spirits is an interesting one. I haven't faced spirits before with uh, Tide Shift, so it's really interesting. Okay. Okay. Hmm. It's an interesting combo. <laughs> Prime time, baby. So I'm thinking Chandra negging to blow up Spell Queller. Uh, Acid Moss eats Temple Garden and sets up Primeval Titan for sure. Now, can he counter Primeval Titan with this deck? I don't think he can. So, four damage, so she'll go down to one loyalty and get killed the following turn, but that buys us a bit of time. Primeval seems... yeah. I don't think you can stop this. You don't run Remand, you don't run anything like that, no. Kill the Quiller. Oh. Okay, I can't stop that. Do I still get the spell? When it leaves the battlefield, I get the spell. Oh, wow, he values the land, wow. I, I wasn't caring about the land, I was caring about the ramp, but sure. Blow up fountain? Go and get a stomping ground. Uh, it's tapped anyway, yes, yeah, so I don't have the option. It'd be nice if it was untapped and then I could uh, hold up explosives, but I can't do that. Okay, happy with that. Happy enough. So why wouldn't he keep his path? And well, maybe he's got another path for Primeval. Sure. Who are you going for? So she just bought us four life there as well. See, now, what, what can happen here? I mean, Cryptic Command, can he do that? He can't cast Cryptic Command. If he remands, I don't care. I'm still going for it. He hasn't seen my hand, so he doesn't know about it. He obviously can't cast Spell Coella. Now, I have five mountains in play already. So I'm very tempted to go and get Valakut and one other uh, mountain, and then I can kill the Noble Hierarch. So this is another thing I'm not sure about yet with this deck, is do I get two Valakuts here, knowing that I have one trigger coming from Secure Tribe Elder? 
So if I get two Valakets, I deal no damage now, but I can deal two Lightning Bolts when I cast Secure Tribe Builder next turn, and if I draw a Mountain, or a Fetch Land, um, I'll be able to deal 12 damage. So the alternative is that I go and fetch one Valakut and Lightning Bolt. So I think the right answer is that I get two Valakuts here. I invest in the long game, and the reason for that is that I'm not at immediate risk of death. Like if I was on five life or something, that would be different. I think I'm supposed to get two Valakuts here. I suppose you could have Spreading Seas as well. Thing is that in order to continue to hurt me, he needs to remove the Titan, which is gonna yeah. So path here is okay, or even Coco okay. So do these decks run De Deputy of Dismissal? I don't know. Oh God, this is exciting. Why is that a creature instant? <laughs> okay, yeah, blow up the engineered maybe, or... What does this do again? Destroy target artifact or enchantment, that's fine. Yep. So in theory, I suppose, if you can remove the titan, you could maybe alpha me here. I am going to be dealing, hopefully, at least 6 damage, maybe 12. Okay. <laughs> will I fetch a mountain? Hmm. You know what? I think I will. And I will blow up you. And I will blow up you. Uh... Should I kill this? No, I'll kill this anyway. Man. See, this is part of what happens with this deck is that if you if if you're allowed to get to seven or eight lands, even without scape shift, I mean I could top deck top deck scape shift for the win, but it's like it's so hard for them to overcome it with you know creatures with okay. We have two ETB triggers on their way. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll far seek first. Now, so the trick is, what do we blow up? Comes in tapped. All right. Uh, no. Do we start hitting his life total? I just feel like killing the Hierarch and the birds is a waste of time. Okay, secure a tribe elder on jump duty. Actually, see, because if he if he attacks, if he has, it depends if he has a play. If he has a play, he has a play. But if he hasn't and attacks with both voices, I can actually attack with the group tribe elder, and he'll have to chump. Um, with either the hierarch or the birds, it's like a machine gun, isn't it? Once you get a couple of these bad boys. Yeah, I'm tempted to just not block here. Just through. Tough spot for him. 
Oh, that could be good. That could be very good. So he goes back up to 10. Yeah. Hmm. Oh! He's activating. If I draw a land, I'm going to be able to deal 12 damage to him. So I still think it's okay to just let all this happen, right? Uh, for now. If I don't draw a land, then I'll kill the ooze. Because uh, he won't have enough mana to make it big enough to survive that. So I think that's right. See, see what I draw. If I draw a land, a mountain I mean. Ooh, Bolt. Okay, he's on a virtual 10. He's on a virtual 10, so uh, I can deal 9 meanwhile. So I don't really want him to... Um, if, I, if I attack with the Elder, he'll just block it and then I sack it, so that's not very interesting. The mana isn't the constraint here, it's the number of creatures in his yard that's the constraint. He could eat Steve, though. I understand this is what he's called, it's a Kutri build, you can call him Steve, S-T-E. If I sack him, he goes to 10. Right, so that's made my decision easier. So <clears throat> we're going to wait a turn. We're going to let him eat everything that's in the graveyard. We're not going to send anything else to the graveyard. Oof, toughy, and I've wasted quite a lot of time thinking about it as well. Oh. Okay, it's the Night of Autumn, no problem. He's on a virtual 10 after I sack Steve. Gosh, this is intriguing! Comes in. Elder blocks. Elder sacks. Sure, no problem. Expected that. I really do need. Yeah, like. There's no sense burning all this out. Well. See, another alternative would be to remove the creature, so I could remove the ooze. Um, but I could kill the ooze, untap... That's not right, is it? it? It's... I've just got to go for the jugular here. Draw a land for the wind, draw a primeval titan for the wind, draw a... Summoner's Pact, uh, Scape Shift, I have... Yes. I'll hold back on Lightning Bolt just because I've got so much more than that. Is that true? I think that's right. Come on. Land me. Like I have so many outs, yeah, any of these cards would do it. Okay, very good, 14 minutes left. So, he's not spirits, right? Voice of Resurgence and Kasali Pride Mage. <sighs> like it's, you know, it's not the horror show of humans or anything like that. Um, Bolt does seem better to me than Flame Slash. Relics aren't doing much. They do stop ooze or they interact with ooze, but is that doing enough? I don't know. OK, 
Okay, so what I'm thinking is just a straight swap relics for anti anti army. What comes out though? Chandra maybe? Is she a bit poor? Don't really want to go down on Pact. Acid Moss. I presume he has Aether Vial, but he might not have Aether Vial. I think she's a bit vulnerable. She is a bit vulnerable. I'll swap her for Tireless. Bring in the anti-creature suite. Hoping with this. Oh, that's unfortunate. Not quite, not quite as bad as our first hand last time. Uh, we have to mulligan this. Can't count on drawing a green source on turn one and really too risky. That's fine. Keep that. We have three lands, so we'll just hold back playing that third land drop until after Tireless has come down off um, the ramp spell. So that's fine. We can put that on the bottom. It took me about twice as long as it should have to work that out. That's okay. I'm still learning this deck, really. You know, I'm still just getting the feel for it. Something really satisfying about having the Valakuts on the battlefield and just, you know, the inevitability of the machine gun effect. It's just so harsh. Farseek's not bad. Um, right, in the interest of not playing a basic forest, I will pay two life and suspend. Boom. And then we'll probably play Steve next, I suppose. Nothing on turn one. Are you supposed to be playing some kind of dryad militant or something? No, Aether Vial. You must, you must run Aether Vial. Nothing on turn two. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Look at that. I think it's got to be secure tribality here. Uh, I'm just going to get a basic mount. Um, if he gets counterspelled, he does not. Maybe I should have fast seeked instead, because I kind of feel compelled now to crack him at the end of my opponent's turn, although my, my opponent has gone to 18. The likelihood of him getting through the following turn is pretty low. Surely he plays something here. He's done nothing for turns one and two, so he must have a three turn, a turn three play. Strongly, strongly suspecting uh, Spell Queller here. Very strongly suspecting Spell Queller. For that reason, I'm not doing uh, the sacrificing, because I'm not going to be tapping out for Tireless this time. I'm going to cast this if he wants to counter that. It's totally okay. Great. Um, yep. Okay. So I'll take the road, more or less travel, I don't know which. Play the tireless. I have a, a land drop up my sleeve. Should Tireless Tracker be in the main deck? It's just such a nice stepping stone card. Alternative win con, I mean, it can get arbitrarily big with all my far seeking and fetching. You know, I can make myself four clues, crack them all, all this card advantage, create this great big body that has to be removed. Like, he's, a, he's almost a must remove. Another interesting question here. Oh, touche! Uh, another interesting question here is should we have kept Valakut? Um, it'd be fun to think about whether that's true or not. We can't stop him. Okay, so I think we ramp here. Oh my 
goodness, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So next turn. Do I play both ramp spells and leave myself as a 3-2, allowing him to become a 5-4? I do, because I've got a chumper here. So I think what I want to do is... is this. Okay. Wow, look at the clues! So you can see what happens here, like even if the tracker dies now... It's totally fine. Like, oh. Just a really solid card. Yep. If he taps out, it's game over. Knight of the Reliquy gets plus one plus one for each land card in your graveyard. What is this guy's deck? So the question is, do we sack Steve to make one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lands and go for the win? I'm trying to think what card he's running. It, like it has to be obviously remand, it has to be negate Dovin's veto. I'm gonna do it! We are really doing this, right? Another clue. <laughs> Just in case we didn't have enough already. Okay. Well, how about another clue? <laughs> All right. Escape shift. Oh, he has an answer. A unified will. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Okay, yep, fine. Um, I think I should probably crack this. Oh, that was huge, man. That was big. All right. Can't play a land for the turn. Because Falakut wasn't my land for the turn. Oh, he's given himself a chance. Man. Oh, heart in your mouth stuff. Eight minutes left, so game three could be a tight one. Uh, how many land cats is he going to do? He's going to investigate again. Blast zone. Okay. Blast Zone is okay. <sighs> Unified Will. Worship. Oh no. Okay, that means I have to machine gun every creature before getting to work on him. This does search every land come on the battlefield. Yep. Starts getting clued in. It's an awful lot of work we've got to do now. Okay, yep. Field of Ruin is okay. Yeah, I think we're losing this one. Maybe I shouldn't have fetched there. I think I have to, I have no choice. Yep. Begin combat. Just... Ooh, that's interesting. Crack one of our billion clues. We really need to hurry up. That's a mountain. Come on, Primeval Titan. Flame Slash. OK. 
Okay, let's just start cracking here. Farseek. Um, under time pressure. Uh, we could search for tomorrow by flame slashing. We could still scape shift here for massive damage if I can find it. Yeah, this has to be it, right? Scape shift for massive damage. And then I can. So I can still play a land here. So if I scape shift, um, gets three Valakuts, play Cinder Glade, search for tomorrow from killing the Queller, kill the Tracker. So I think this is correct. I'll do the analysis afterwards, but I'm guessing that I stuffed that up. And I should have put two Valakuts into play. Uh, three Valakuts into play, sorry. Right. Let's kill this. Oh, they've all got to go on the bloody stack. Okay. All right, well, and kill that. Ah, oh, he's just given it up. He saw how many triggers there were. How many triggers were there there? Man, I had like 36 damage just from that one thing. And 36 is 6 plus 3 plus 3 plus 18, which was his life total. So worship gets turned off once the creatures are all dead. Um, so if he could have played an indestructible creature there, I think we would have had to concede. I don't know that there's any way out of that. We have no answer for worship. Um, yeah. Okay, and we are back for the second game, second match. We won the dice roll again. And how's our luck this time? Ugh, yeah. It's all right. Um, unfortunately, these come into play tapped, so we cannot search on turn one, which means we cannot play these on turn three. Well, we wouldn't want to play Scape Shift on turn three anyway, would we? But who knows what we draw. Like, if we draw a Ramp Spell, if we draw a Farseek or a Steve, that's our best bet. We don't have many bad draws, really, do we? Because we've definitely we're definitely playing Chandra on turn four, so I think we keep. But we're not loving life. I mean, Drake Aaron won't be sad to see a tapped Cinder Glade on turn one. Although maybe he will. Maybe he'll realise that we're escape shift and despair. So okay, Verdant suggests. Collective Brutalities and Thought Seizers and Inquisitions, and those cards are good against uh, against Titan Shift, I think. Um, but his deck could be literally anything, obviously, with Verdant Catacombs. Hopefully he's holding up mana for Fatal Push. I mean, there's no mystery as to what we're doing, so... Chuck our tap land out there. Suspend the search. Which... Ironically, sounds like we're calling off the search, doesn't it? Suspend the search. All we're really doing is putting it on hold for a couple of turns. I don't play a lot of tier one decks generally in modern. Oh, oh, is this a uh, absent? I quite like the new artwork on the Shocklands. What? No pl Is that a star? So how many colours are you, man? What the heck kind of deck is this? Stomping ground. I still can't do anything, right? So I should probably just play the Cinderglade. Yeah. Cinderglade tapped past the turn. But I won't F6 here. You've got to make it look like you mean business. Can't wait to lightning bolt your guy. That kind of thing. I don't know what his deck is. And another thing I've noticed is that rogue builds, like, you know, tier 3 decks and stuff. Oh, Assassin's Trophy. Well, uh, that's interesting. It's not actually very effective against us, though. 
it's not very effective, mate. Now, maybe you might argue that... Okay, what is an effective target when... But you'd save it for a primeval titan, wouldn't you? I mean... It'd be different if I didn't f fetch a land off it, you know? Still, still not... And you're blue as well, so you're all five colours. Okay, well I'm going to try and cast Chandra here. Just try and stop me. I've got basic land fetch. I'm worried that I'm running out of basics. But I'll follow my own advice here. Don't fetch a basic forest because... Um, will we see if we can just attract whatever he's planning to do? No, okay. He wasn't but he wasn't biting. Alright. Let's see if he resolves. His deck is so weird. It would be so weird if he counted this. Like with having start having led on Godless and Stomping Ground, it would be so strange to see Spell Queller or something. Yeah. What is this guy doing? Just do this for now. I've had it, my friend. Okay, what are you doing? Seriously? Obviously that's all I'm worried about is counter spells. Um I feel like I'm just praying for lands. I am gonna get I'm gonna hope that my scapeshift is good. I wanna get to seven lands. Uh, we'll do this. That may have been foolish. That may have been... You guys might be screaming at me like, No! Why would you do that, you moron? Like half of the rest of the cards in my deck are lands, right? Creeping Tar Pit. What isn't this guy doing? Helix. It's like he's playing modern staple -athon. cash this in. Wow. Alright. Um, okay. I... If, if he cryptics my escape shift here, I'll just be like... <laughs> Exile? What the... Mm -hmm. Is she a big deal in modern now? I don't know. When she gets to five, she can deal damage equal to the number of cards I own in exile, which is that many, but that's because I put them there with relic. All right, well, I don't know what you're doing, pal, but... Escape shift. Sacrifice any number of lands. I believe I'll sacrifice every last one. And I think I'm supposed to float this mana, right? Okay, yep, I'm an idiot. I should have floated mana for search for tomorrow so that I get an extra trigger in case he gains life or whatever. So there's Valakut. I've got to find six more lands, so they've all got to be mountains. No. Stop asking me. How many triggers have I got? Six. Six triggers. There's one. There's two. There's three. So I don't know what's going on. Like, Kaya is a really expensive card. Um, so he's obviously not a complete beginner. Okay, he's seen the writing on the wall. Oh my goodness. This deck. Oh, I have no idea how to board against this dude. Like, what? Is Relic good? 
Does he have Tarmogoyfs? I mean... What are you doing at somebody who's playing Helix and Kaya? And Blue? Obstinate Balath's pretty hilarious in response to Coligan's command. Um, yeah, these feel annoying for him. I'm also tempted by Primal Command here. I don't know how good or bad Relic actually is. Uh, is that what it's called? Recover the Wilds? It's a 4-drop that lets you untap all your lands. Again? All red with Search for Tomorrow. Can't keep it. Especially not on the draw. I hit keep. Can't keep it. And in saying the word keep, I subconsciously press the keep button. Yeah, that happened. That really happened. <sighs> Punishment due. Oh, why not? Whenever I cast a non-creature spell, you ping me for one. You can sack this to blow up an artifact or enchantment. While also stinging me for two. Well, thank the heavens above. We found a green source on turn two, so it cost us a turn. I am going to take my own advice and take the hit from Stomping Ground so that I can suspend my disbelief Hold up Lightning Bolt, although it's not clear that uh, he's going to give me anything to Lightning Bolt. We have another green source coming, not next turn, but the turn after. So we'll be playing Acid Moss just at the normal time. And that's, yeah, that's an absolute hoser. See, I, I, I don't know if this guy is supposed to be in Modern or not, if, if he's a regular dude, but he actually shuts down every single card that we run. Um, what I might try and do is... She can't hit him. Yeah, so if you look closely, this is hilarious, right? Spells and abilities your opponents control can't cause us to search. Every single thing we do... Look right there. Like, rather than pointing with my finger, I'll point with the mouse. Search, I can't put it, okay, well, it's there. Search your library, search your library. Every single card, Farseek, Secure Tribe Elder, um, Primeval Titan. Summoner's Pact, they all, every single thing <laughs> requires us to search. Now, we can kill him with, nat we can get to Valakut naturally, um, but he's nearly as bad, he's as bad as Leon of Sanctity, like in the sense that you, you have to, um, you know, you, ha you have to do something about him. You can't not, um, uh, you, you can't ignore him. Anyway, let's just see what he does. I I'm maybe he is inexperienced enough to neg one again here. Uh, is he, is he a tier one staple? And if the answer is yes, then Titan Shift. Titan Shift needs to change its sideboard, if, if so. I, like, oh, mana confluence. So I'm detecting maybe someone who knows the game but is new to modern, and he's testing stuff out. Sin Collector, you're going to choose a card, you choose an instant or sorcery and exile it. Forever. Um, well, what does Lightning Bolt really do for me now? I guess I'll let it come to play, obviously. Um, should I just bolt the Sin Collector? Um, I think I'm going to do that. I'll take one from this, two from this, one from this. Problem with Ashiok, the only way to remove him is going to be Prime Beats or Natural Triggers from Valakut. But we cannot ramp. Okay. Don't want to spend too long thinking about it. Waste too much time. Some 
is then going to take uh, one of the acid mosses. Cinderfines will hit us again on the Chandra. Yeah, Ashiok is a pain in the backside. <laughs> yeah. But he was printed to hate modern or to give, you know. Oh, he's done it. Okay, well, now we can top deck bolt. I don't understand why you would neg him, though. This won't work. Can't search for tomorrow. <laughs> Sin defines me. Yeah. Yep. Blowing up a land isn't as interesting as Chandra-ing. Cindervines isn't bad, eh? Doing a pretty good job here. So this is this guy, you know, this is where you want to see Tireless Tracker. Can I just say no? Can I just say no? Uh, yeah, Tireless Tracker. Insane. In fact, that last game, you know, it made like seven clues. I, I cracked three of them to help me find Scapeshift and win the game. I wonder, should Tireless actually be a, you know, main decked card? Oh, we're getting close. What did he blow up? Oh, he blew up Chandra. Okay. <laughs> yeah, see, we're getting close to natural stuff here. He's ticking this baby down. Is he going to mill me to death? So I think I just play this tapped. There's no point destroying his lands now. I really feel... Unless he has a plan to mill me... What's he going to do here? Ashiok Dream... What's he doing in my dreams? Rending them. Colgan. Not very. <sighs> yep, okay. Yeah, he's just the ultimate hate card for us. Sure. Okay. Yep. Can't stop it. All right. Have a look at my hand. Exile the acid moss. Still got to wait. Ugh. Um. I take one from Cindervines. How does this help me? Blowing up. How many? How many has he got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I'll just play I'll just play my mouth and pass the turn. Well he's in such big trouble now though if I top deck a mountain. Has to be a mountain, can't be a primeval titan, can't be a Farseek. Blah blah blah. Yeah, she doesn't do anything, man. Like, what is the point of her? It's like a super global rainbow friends. So that's the big question. You might argue that this guy is, <clears throat> you know, testing out a new idea with a deck, whatever. It's the wrong type of land. Um, I'll play it because scape shifting for eight could be important later. Um, the question is whether Ashiok is in fact going to be a modern staple. That would give me some hesitancy if I am seeing him regularly. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Another card out of Ravnica Allegiance, I think it is, is um, Unmoored Ego. Unmoored Ego naming Valakut is game over. The only thing you have left in your deck is uh, Primeval Titan, which is just a 6-6 six, six with Trample um, that can be, you know, ramped into. So if you can if you can win off that, good on you. 
Um, I might just hold the bolt here for... I do have to bolt Ashiok. I mean, I'm probably going... Uh, well, then again, should I kill the Creeping Tar Pit with my Lightning Bolt? Deals damage to me equal the number of cards I own in exile. How many cards do I own in exile? <laughs> <laughs> oh, combo. Okay. I'm at minus 15. Oh. Well, okay, we got ashy -yocked. We got majorly ashy -yocked. And he is a nightmare for us. So let's bring in some alternative wing cons. We, this Primal Command can put him back on top of Library. Asimos is actually solid here. Relic is horrendous. We don't do that. Um, what happened with Kaya? Did she ultimate? Maybe she ultimated and I should have paid attention to that and I could have bolted her before she had the chance to. So that could be a very bad mistake on my part. Sorry. But seriously. I actually think it's Lightning Bolt that goes. I'm going to use creatures, especially Tireless Tracker, hopefully, to attack Ashiok. This guy's definitely on a rogue build here, so... Let's see what we can do... Ooh! Um... Ugh. There's no ramp. Where's my ramp? I'm mulliganing. too aggressive with the Baloths. No, I wasn't. What did I take out? Engineered. Bolt. Not really very much. Cinder vines, maybe? Alright. Dear, oh dear, oh dear. Getting to Baloth mana, people. We're getting there. You've got to click too many buttons. When a card comes off to suspend in the interface, it's too it's so annoying. I've got to click like four times to cast the card. Yes, cast it. I don't even have a choice. Like suspend isn't optional. Basic land card. Uh, I think I'll go for a mountain. <sighs> Draw another one. Guess I'll play that. I'm not gonna be cute and try and extract any sort of Value from the discard stuff. Colgan is fine here. Safe right quest. Ooh, not bad. Not too bad at all. This thing can do so much. Okay, so I can put Cinder Vines on top of his library. I can put a land on top of his library, it's probably better. While I'm at it, search up a prime time. I 
could search for Steve. Hmm. Steve might be better. Search for Steve. Uh, what do I want to do? I want to put target thingy on top of the surface library, and then I'm going to search, right? So that's it. The permanent I'm putting back on top is Blood Crypt. Double green. Do this. Cinder Vine's fine. Right. So the creature I'm going to play... Am I sure about this? Because if I pick Steve... Yeah, this is right. This is right. Okay, so we've time walked him because we know that he had no play before. So I'm definitely getting. Yep. Yeah. Alright, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. I feel like we're in decent shape here. If he plays Ashiok, he, Ashiok can be beaten to death by the. Balath and or the Titan. Get me a mountain. Comes in tapped. No, I do not want to. Play STE. So I can just and just go for escape shift. Let's go for fall lands. We know Blood Crypt is in his hand. I'll survive Ashiok now. So what should we do? Go for Bal go for Escape Shift or go for Titan? Okay. So let's just see who Connects. Should have maybe. Well, yeah, he could always respond if I. Play my Titan. Prime time! Yep. Okay, I think we got him. Good games, man. Um, so many uh, dramas during that. Like, how how hilarious was that keep in <laughs> game two? Also, how much should I have panicked over Ashiok? Too much? Did I panic too too hard? I don't know. Maybe I I overreacted. But certainly pre-board, if Ashiok is a main deckable card, tell me how we win that game. Like the only thing you can do is cast Primeval Titan and attack with him. Uh, by the way, you can you can you can't cast him ahead of time either. You can't ramp because all of our ramp involves. We don't have like Utopia Sprawl and Arbor Elf. We don't have any of that. You have to search for lands. So I could sit here for another ten minutes talking about this, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna let it go. Um, all right, let's go again. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next game. Okay, guys, back again for another. Titan Shift match. Uh, we're on the draw. Do we want to mulligan this? Hmm. Well, I, I think I'm going to learn my lesson and keep this because I've been mulliganing pretty aggressively and it's been giving me problems in the last couple of matches. Okay. Whoa. Relic feels like it's going to be... Well, yeah, against this guy... Against this guy, I don't know. Um, is there any reason to save the bolt? If we ignore what he's doing and just let him go crazy, he could... Uh, yeah, I feel like we probably do need to bolt this thing. Um, Relic doesn't shrink it. Um, yeah, this, this feels right. We're going to bolt the flame blade. I think I've played this matchup once before with Titan Shift. Um, with some success. Um, like if 
you resolve Primeval Titan, you can't attack, you know. He doesn't really have anything to stop you getting there except for Burning Inquiry. Okay, so there you go. Yeah, so I'm glad we've done that. So you discard three cards. We would have been taking four damage from the Flame Blade. Uh, right. Yes. Bolting! Usain Bolt. I don't know why I said that. Big fan of Usain Bolt. Um, okay. He discarded a Burning Inquiry. Does his thing. Fair enough. Steven is on route to jump and do exactly what he's supposed to do. Look at this. Effectively gains us four life, ramps us into four mana on turn three, which allows, who knows, Acid Moss could come off the top of our deck. Chandra, the Torch of Defiance. He's got five cards, he threw away the Inquiry. Gut shot, ah, boo, okay. Well, he soaked up a gut shot. Definitely a mountain. Okay. He's got work to do here, this guy. Although, so do I. So, Cinderglade untapped. Search puts a fifth land into play. I have the sixth one in hand. My alternative is to go Relic, Relic, Suspend. But I think this is just straight up. I think we just cast this sucker. And um, three green sources seems like enough. So keep following that same advice. Don't fetch a basic unless you're worried about Blood Moon and stuff. Which, by the way, maybe we should be out of the board worried about Blood Moon. Oh, hey, I didn't spot this. It comes in untapped. Oh, my goodness. Do we want to play both, or will we hold up the activation? I think we might hold up the activation. Because I don't need the card. I know exactly what I'm... I don't need to draw a card. I know exactly what I'm doing. So... Do you know what's really hilarious is Collective Brutality, Duress, only Thoughts, like Inquisition, I can respond to and go and fetch a Titan. Oh my goodness. This is going to be awesome. He does play Bolt, this fellow. Do I crack the relic? <sighs> Cracking the relic. Well, I mean, what do you say to that? What can you say to that? Boom is what I say to that. Two, three, four, five, six. God, I love this card. It's so, like, it just feels so good. Just casting, it just brings joy. Um, uh, do I bolt or do I do double valicate? If I'm not at immediate risk of death, I'm pretty sure what I'm supposed to do is double valicate. A single lightning bolt doesn't do anything because it doesn't remove the hollow one. So two of those bad boys. I won't be packing um, until the following turn for a second prime time. So really, he has to kill me now. He has to kill me now because I have five triggers and five times three times two is 25 damage inbound. Interesting. Interesting. I will take the deal. I have the pact. Very, very happy with that. Yep. Okay. Um, I have, let's see, a natural land play. So that's one, two, three, four triggers. Four times three times two is 20. Therefore, I've won the game. Unless I can't play 
hang on, can I play everything? Can I play my Farseek and my Titan? I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lands. Um, the Titan could get the other two Valakets. Hear this out. Hang on, if I tap six of these lands, get two more Valakets off the Titan. Play the Cinder Glade. That's four times three. Then play the Farseek. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's the right answer, surely, right? So I packed. Oh. Oh no. Well, that stinks. What can I get instead? Steve. <laughs> I'll get Steve, and then I'll have three triggers. Three times three times two is 18. No, it's not. Three times three times two is 18. Yeah, it is. So I can't get Valakit, but I can get Steve. Which means I can go... Steve. Farseek. <laughs> why the why wouldn't I? get why wizards made some uh, abilities optional like when they built the card like has anyone in the history of this deck ever gotten to this point and gone actually no I, you know I, now that I'm here I've put my triggers on the stack I know I've done all this but you know did, I feel like I need to you know step back and maybe just rethink this and not let the Valakit trigger happen. I, I'm just going to opt out. I'm going to let my opponent off the hook here. Like... So, wow. Surgical Extraction. Interesting one. Really hard to decide how to board here. Once again, Engineered Explosives straight out the door. I don't think we play around surgical extraction, right? Relic of Progenitus, the actually the only thing it really hits is um, the Phoenix. So I'm actually thinking that Relic is kind of poor. Chandra, how much damage does she actually deal? Mm -hmm. If she wants to, she can deal four damage. Mm -hmm. So she can blow up a hollow one. Minute 26 on the clock. Decisions to be made. Flame Slash kills a, an ancient... Uh, what's he? Tireless feels like it might be good. Um, obstinate feels like it could be good. Trades with a hollow one. Yep, I'm convinced. I'm convinced these four aren't as good as these here. So I'm doing this for starters, and then my next candidate off the rank would be another obstinate and take another bolt away. That turn one bolt was handy against Thingo. Down to 59. Oh, hang on, down to 59. That's not what I want. Primal Command. Primal Command seems good. Primal Command seems good. I'm going to run it. Let's see what happens here. So what the guy will be wanting to do is find a way to get... Can you Surgical Extraction Valakit? Is there a realistic way of doing that? You have to 
find a way to get it into the graveyard. Searching. Ooh, interesting. I'm definitely keeping. Um, do I search on turn one? Or do I play Cinderglade tapped on turn one? Keep. The debacle of last time. Nothing. Turn one, nothing. I just don't think there's a reason to... Well, hang on, yes there is. Hang on, there's a very good reason why we might not play the forest and search. And the reason is that on turn two we can't cast Farseek unless we draw a land. So in the interest of definitely getting to four mana on turn three and hitting Balath, I think it's correct to play Cinderglade, untap, play Farseek, untap, play Balath. We'll get round to that when we get round to it. Uh, another alternative could be top decks a uh, menace adept, uh, and then we need to bolt it, or we decide to bolt it. Goblin law, maybe. Yep. Okay, we don't really mind a hollow one here. Might even ignore it. We might even just far seek and let it hit us for four. And somebody has maximize velocity. Is that the velocity with which not burning? Okay, we we did all right there. Oh, burning inquiry. That's right. So I keep thinking you, you throw your whole hand away. It's three cards at random. Lily of the Veil is not that great against us, I don't think. Oh, how do you jumpstart? You discard any card you want and pay red to give Hollow One. Big deal. Yeah, no, that didn't... What did we lose? We lost our Farseek. Okay. Actually, that, that was probably the most important thing that could have happened there. Because we've lost it, um, we cannot play... Balath on turn three. That opportunity is gone. So I think it's just suspend. I am worried that we still can't play Cinderglade untap next turn either. Um, I'm definitely I'm doing it. I'm definitely doing this. And hitting that far seek definitely helped him. Because <clears throat> I feel like Balath on turn three for us is very solid. If we have time, which at the moment we do, because he's not putting any pressure on us at all. What have you got? Have you got any hollow ones? Oh, don't take stomping ground. That was silly. I can just go fetch another glade, mate. Or I can just fetch a mount. Oh, I can't fetch a mount with windswept teeth. All right. Um, right. Drew a land. Now, search comes down next turn. So we'll have five mana. I don't waste too much time thinking about it. Preserve my life total. We'll go windy. And we're holding up Bolt, obviously. I just think he's wasted too much time mucking around. He's done Faithless Looting, Faithless Looting, Burning Inquiry, and Surgical Extraction. And that's all he's done. And I'm on 20. I spent too much time messing around, man. I might end up eating my words, sure. Yeah, my big mouth. Lily. Okay. What do you want to do with her? We both discard. Okay. Is that going to hurt you more than me? 
Oh, that's just brutal. <laughs> that's just harsh. Yeah, he can't win from here. Believe it or not, this is the first time I've ever done this with an obstinate Balath. I, I usually play, I, I like to play a lot of discard decks. Um, eight rack is probably my favorite deck of all time. There's some more videos on my channel if you're interested in eight rack. And of course, Balath is the card that everyone brings in against eight rack. So I've 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 been hit by Balath so many times um, that it's not funny. Um, So to actually, you know, to actually, um, I think I'm just going to get, uh, I think the stomping ground, I'm going to play around this a little bit, this, this issue. Question is, should I bolt Lily and then let her tick up while I smash face? Um, or should I just kill, I think I'm just going to kill her, right? With uh, the Balath. The thing that really stinks on Magic Online is that Liliana from Vale is worth about a third of what she was when I bought my playset. Um, I know people watching this probably don't care about my specific problems in life, um, particularly you know my financial ups and downs in the world of Magic the Gathering. <coughs> but um, did you go to the right thing? Here we go, Lily. Right, killed her. Powerful answer, isn't she? Acid moss away the black cleave, I suppose. Do I have any more? Yeah, see, I don't have a lot of other forests to select. So the next windy, windswept heath I draw. Um. You know, that'll be the last forest I can actually search for. Okay, desperation time for our opponent. Well, full respect to Rodot Juana, um, but I submit to everybody watching that surgical extraction. Oh, he's, he's doing it again. Like that doesn't that doesn't do anything, man. Taking that card off me does nothing. Yeah, all right. Sure, go ahead and draw the cards, man. You're you're good. You're good. It's got prowess. Um, so what I was kicking around there was the idea of bolting his face to 12, untapping, flame slashing, don't get, oh, well, ego. He's just scooped it up. So, wow, that's three for three. Um, now, I am just in the heads-up room, you know, where you just go heads-up, one, ma one match, bang, against an opponent. So I'm not in the league or anything like that, so I'm not being paired progressively against harder and harder opponents. I'm just up against random. But uh, So we've faced there... Collected Company, kind of a new uh, experimental build featuring Ashiok, which is a new mega, mega answer to Titan Shift. But the rest of his deck was, you know, the, fairly experimental. Um, and then the third match there was Hollow One. And in all three, the deck felt comfy. It felt like, it felt like getting into a truck, like into a big, you know, solid vehicle. Uh, and... You know, it's getting peppered with stuff and it's taking the hits, but it still keeps on trucking. You can just keep on trucking. You just keep playing your lands, keep playing your far seeks when you draw them. Unless he has a way to pull Valakut out of your deck, exile it. Um, if the game goes long and grindy, yeah, it's so you're in such such good shape. And on top of that, you have the just instant win if you cast and resolve Scape Shift. Um, I'm going to continue um, with this because it's it's fun. Like winning is is really really fun. So um, anyway, thanks very much for watching, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.